We've been busy over the last few months getting our music recorded and mixed and all that sort of thing. And it's been a lot of fun. The songwriting process this time was, I don't know if there was any particular design to it. Often Dan or Jim would come in with a little piece of an idea or it would be a full idea. I know the Create Destroy, the first single, was pretty collaborative. And we kind of wrote it and then sort of left it for a couple of months and then Jim came up with a new idea and then we were like, yeah, that's great. And then all of a sudden we liked it again and we played it and now that's the single. Mr. Paul McCurcher helped us with uh, this album. Nothing was ever too crazy. He was yeah. always up for anything. But if it wasn't the right idea, he'd just go, nah. Yeah, he'd go, I don't think it needs it, mate. Yeah. He'd go, Okay. He so rarely said no to ideas that when he said no, you'd go like, you're probably right. I think. Yeah, yeah. The biggest learning curve since the last record. Learning uh, to trust the other bandmates. Yeah. And yourself, I think. Yeah. If you have an idea that you like, don't be scared to say it. And most of the time, if you think it's a really good idea, the other two will as well. Travelling and playing hasn't lost its novelty. Or maybe the novelty's returned because we haven't done it in so long. <laughs> I think on this time when we go touring, we're going to make sure that we keep writing songs as well, writing new songs. A pre-show ritual is you must go out into the area where the crowd is going to be watching you. If for some reason it just makes the show better. Yeah.